So this is demonstrating how you're gonna boost a patient. So first, make sure you have a buddy. Um, you shouldn't do this by yourself. So next, we're gonna position the patient. So I would raise the bed all the way up to the height of your hip so you're not breaking your back bending over. Me and Madison are similar in height, so we can kind of raise it to our hips. Next, put the head of the bed all the way flat, just so you're not working on hiking the patient up. And can we have you lay on your back, Emily? Mm -hmm. So it's easier to have the patient laying flat on their back. You're gonna ask them to cross their arms just so their arms aren't dangling everywhere. Um, I'm gonna remove this pillow behind your head just so you're not working against the pillow. And so under the patient, you should have a draw sheet or a chucks pad um, that you're gonna fold over and get as close to the patient as you possibly can. This kind of prevents um, Sheer. Sheer, yeah. So you don't want to drag the patient, you want to move them. So one person's going to be the counter, so I will. And you're going to say like one, two, three, and then boost together. And make sure you're not pulling. You kind of have to have your feet set and use your body motions to move the patient. So ready? One, two, three. And oh, then, I feel so much better. Perfect. And then fix under them, put their pillow back behind their head. Put the bed in the lowest setting and then have the patient um, tell you where they want their head to be. Give them their call bell, um, any belongings they want next to them, bring that to the bedside and ask if they need anything. When you leave the room, make sure you wash your hands with soap and water. And that's it.